Hello and welcome back to Becoming Me. Um, I am as ever Lee and today is my trans birthday. Yes. Yes, I get one of those. I get one of those because because it's a day when everything changed. It's the two year anniversary of the day when I wrote a blog post that outed me to everybody. I don't remember the first time when I realized that I was trans. It was such a long gradual process. It kind of, one day it just was a thing that I was aware of and knew and needed to do something about. I haven't chosen the first day that I told somebody either because the people that I chose to tell to begin with were all people that I knew I could trust to have my back. Um, that was important. But I chose the day that I told everybody because that's the day when the world first was asked to see me as this person that I am. And I chose that as my anniversary because that was the most important part for me. Coming out is the scariest thing that I've ever done. <laughs> even, even telling the people that I knew would support me was pretty nerve-wracking. Not because, not because I wasn't sure that they would, because I knew they would, that's why I chose them. But just, just the act of telling another person this thing that has been so big and has been so hidden for so long, there is, there's a fear of them seeing you differently, even, in, even while they're supporting you. You know, that's there. And there's also the fear of just not knowing exactly what their reaction is going to be. Um, once I see the reaction, I'm fine and I can deal. But until I have those reactions, there were some nerves in talking about it. Um, of the people that I told, I chose well. I did. I chose really well. I chose people that, as I said, I knew they would support me. And they did. There were a couple of people that I didn't tell that I think I probably should have, but at the end of the day, once I'd got the people that I needed, once I'd got people who were backing me up, then it was time to go, and so I just went. It was it was time to do it. I couldn't not anymore, and with that in mind, I sort of ploughed on ahead and did the thing. <laughs> My first public telling of people was a my job at the time. Um, we gathered all my team into a room. The managers were already aware. Um, but we gathered all my team into a room and I was so afraid, so scared, I could barely stand up, never mind make sounds. I don't know how I got through those 10 minutes, but I did. And again, they were amazing. Um, <laughs> and they didn't have to be. And it was the same day when I got home from work that day that I posted the blog. And the outpouring of love that I got over the blog, over Facebook, over Twitter, over my phone, it was just incredible. Just the love and the support and the people just just telling me that they were still there. That was huge. I don't talk much about the people who decided not to stay. Um, and I don't talk much about the people who have stayed but have not yet accepted. The truth is, it's easier to deal with the people who just went no and disappeared. It's easier to deal with the people who just pretend I don't exist anymore because I don't have to do anything with them. I can't force them to be okay with it, but I don't have to do anything with them. It's dealing with the people who haven't gone away, but continue to dead name me and to misgender me. Those those are the ones that I have trouble with. Because that hurts like nothing else. That hurts so much every time they do it. And and not just in my heart, in my head, there's a this panic that happens when somebody does that purposely. But you know, I have been so lucky. 
I have been so privileged to have the people around me that I do. Two years in, you know, it's been a bit of a f battle on occasion. <laughs> but I've been on hormones for the past few months. Um, I'm looking at top surgery next year. There's still a part of me which can't quite believe that it's actually real, that I'm actually becoming this person that I have been all along and never got the chance to be. But there's another part of me which just kind of is just sitting back and watching it happen. <laughs> and that's brilliant. I kind of love that, you know. The changes that are happening because of the hormones and the changes that are happening just because I'm being me and other people are treating me like Lee. <laughs> it's kind of ace. I love the fact that there are people now who know me and have never known me as anything other than Lee and that is super super weird but it's also really cool. <laughs> you know there's people that have never known me as anything but this person and I kind of love that just in the same way that I love the people that have known me before and are watching me change and are with me every step of the way. It's my second birthday as Lee and that is huge two years I'm becoming me and that process is long and not all related to hormones and surgery and I'm kind of starting to like this me that I'm becoming I understand it it makes sense to me I feel like I'm actually myself for the first time. <laughs> and that's kind of amazing. So I just wanted to share my second trans birthday with you all. Thank you.